What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to set up a project with Vue and Tailwind from scratch. It'll be a quick video on how to start up and configure the two. If you haven't installed the Vue CLI, you'll want to make sure you do that. You can do that by going to the cli.viewjs.org, do the installation and run one of these two commands. Then you can create a project by running view, create, and then the name of your project. So we'll do view tailwind starter, hit enter. We'll go with manually selecting features here. I'll add the router, hitting spacebar to select that. Vuex is the state management tool for Vue. I'm going to leave that out for now. And I'll go ahead and remove the linter formatter as well. Hit enter. Here with Vue version 3. History mode. Yes. And where do you prefer placing config for Babel, ESLint, etc.? We'll go with the dedicated config files. Save this as a preset for future projects. No, thank you. This could take anywhere from 20 seconds to 20 years. And for me, it's the latter, so I'll fast forward to the end of this. Okay, so it successfully created the project. We can change directory into the project. View Tailwind Starter. By the way, I have a video where I go over the basic terminal commands if you want to get more familiar with these commands. And so we're in our project now. And to add Tailwind, we'll just run View Add Tailwind. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Just kidding. So the Tailwind config file. The way Tailwind works is it will first look for a Tailwind config file in the root of your project. This is where you can define any customizations, any colors, fonts, spacing, etc. And we'll choose the minimal because that'll let us add any alterations we want. And Fool would do the same, although it would show all of the default classes and styles in the config file. So we'll just keep it at minimal. Now we'll open the project in our code editor, run code and then a period. So this is the tailwind config file I was talking about. This is the minimal. We can just add what we want. Get the post CSS config. and the Tailwind CSS, bringing in the base components and utilities. And get rid of any conflicting styles. I'll get rid of this whole component. I'll get rid of the About page. And so in the router, get rid of that as well. Remove this hello world component and the image of the view logo. And this home class, since we'll have tailwind classes now. Hello world import, get rid of that, and then the registering of the hello world component. Got rid of the about page. And we can get rid of these styles. Save all this. 
And now you have a good starter project with view and tailwind and you're able to use tailwind however you'd like. So super in-depth video here. Make sure you like and subscribe. Drop a comment and say what's up. And thank you very much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Check it, check it.